Hello out there, and I've got a pretty special unboxing slash, I guess, unpackaging since this isn't actually a box, but this came from a, a viewer, and that's why uh, you can see the uh, addresses are ripped out here, uh, but this came from a really cool guy, Drew, who uh, has been supporting the channel, following for quite a while, and I've actually been following his Instagram for uh, about six months now as well. And he contacted me, had something that he wanted to send that he said was unlike anything that I've ever had on the channel. And so I was really excited and not knowing what it was. And so he sent me this as like a loaner to check out and and see what it is. And, and again, I still don't know what it is. Uh, I'm going to get into it right now. Um, let's see. Let's turn this around. It's great to have a knife to open a package, but... You know, when it isn't necessary, it just isn't necessary. So, here are a couple things. There's a few things in here. Whew, you see that right there? That is, that is something. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is awesome, and a couple cool stickers, too. Man. That is so cool. And then a Spyderco sticker, too. And this says, um, JT, I really enjoy your videos, so I wanted to contribute. The two sun and stickers are just a gift for you. Man, that, that's awesome. That's not expected at all. Uh, the Olamic is a wonderful knife. Feel free to, to carry and use it uh, because it can take a beating. Enjoy, Drew. And D knives. I mean, I was gonna link to his Instagram down below anyway. So yeah, not giving out any like real personal information. But if you want to check out his page, he does have some very cool stuff. So let's take a look at what is in here. Um, really cool Spiderco kind of like sticker, like that. Obviously, the Star Wars stuff. Um, you probably don't hear too much about it on the channel, but uh, on Instagram, I do a whole lot of Star Wars stuff. Um, and a lot more active talking about Star Wars on Instagram. So uh, these two things, these two stickers are are really neat. So yeah, thank you very much for those. Let's take a look at the Tucson. Um, I've actually never owned a Tucson. That is pretty cool. And that flipped open really easily and I didn't even really try to do anything. So. Um, yeah, I've handled a few two sun knives. The action on all of them that I've handled has been just like spot on. Really good. And they've been smooth knives and pretty well built. And, you know, I've always wanted to, to get more use on one, but also just try to find out more about the company. And that's sort of one of the things that, I don't know, is just sort of uh, keeps them mysterious because there's not all that much information out there about the company themselves and like who is behind it and, and what they're doing and where the designs come from. And, you know, really interesting to uh, to see this knife and to see that it is in D2 because one of the things, one of the, the, uh, the video concepts that I've been t like tossing around in my head was doing something comparing a whole bunch of D2s because there are a lot of companies right now that are that are using D2 and I just wonder if the D2 in like a Tucson or or maybe some other knives is on par with like the kind of D2 that say Benchmade uses. So uh, this will be a knife that I'll definitely use a whole lot and um, and definitely get a good feel for. So very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. One more look at that closed, and this is titanium here, and yeah, very nice, pretty clean milling. Yeah, great looking show side here. All right, but anyway, <laughs> let's get into the main event. I've never handled one of these knives. So, Check under foam for tool and card. Okay. Cool. So underneath the foam here, yeah, it looks like we have like our uh, assembly tools. Cool. And then on this side, all right. So 
Actually, let's focus on that. You can take a look at what we have. The Wayfarer 247. Cool. Titanium. Satin M390. 3.5 inch blade. Let's move that out of the way. Man, that is a beast. That is a beast of a knife. It's rock solid. Very, very cool. Awesome gesture. Yeah, sort of just trying to check the knife out, like around the camera. Getting fingerprints all over it, but not too worried about that. Nice detent. Opens, locks up really well I mean I don't I mean obviously I have that that bench made gold class knife but I don't own any kind of like mid tech or or knife that is in like production that is of this value so yeah just very neat to have my hands on something like this I mean certainly the the hinderers that I've been able to uh to borrow on loan have been awesome and and this is another thing right along that line of of being able to get just a a, a beautifully fashioned piece of of functional art and I don't mean art in that this is the most like attractive or beautiful knife I just mean that that it is like a work of art to be able to build a knife this well with this high quality materials and you can just tell uh holding it in your hand the first time you know and a very interesting kind of sweep to the back of the handle and I'm gonna enjoy using it you know, for that reason because it really locks in and the jimping here is good too so um, ergonomically I think it's gonna be excellent and just a really really good knife to carry and use so yeah definitely looking forward to that M390 blade steel can't complain about that interesting pocket clip um, it is just the uh, the one position so yeah certainly review or just like an update with some use um, on this knife definitely coming so yeah definitely drew uh, man what a nice gesture very very cool of you to uh, to do that and send me that knife to check out and then this other stuff to keep um, yeah definitely a uh, a step more than what even I was expecting and and yeah from what you told me it was uh, it's gonna be something awesome and I couldn't have imagined it was gonna be this awesome so thank you very much uh, really looking forward to uh, to trying out these knives and and certainly everyone be on the uh, the lookout for some follow-ups regarding those but any other questions comments complaints suggestions as always let me know down below one more time my thanks to drew i really appreciate the contribution and your support and i will be in touch with you all soon take care have a good one